Hello everybody! Welcome to another planning video. Today I'm going to show you how I set up my 2024 planner and this year so far I just have this one. It's the Aura Estelle Daily Classic B6 size and it's undated and it's a I guess a collab with Annie Plans but you get this on the Aura Estelle website and I'll show you a quick flip through of how I kind of set it up when I'm thinking um, so far and also maybe a quick flip of January since we're already a week into May or <laughs> into May, a week into Feb. So for my cover, I haven't decided which stickers I want to put on it. These are some that I've been hoarding. This one um, of Captain's Booty, so cute. And this one I might put inside, uh, but this is from CME Draw. And then this one is also from CME Draw. These are both Marvel references. And then I have two Disney references. So this ghost I think is really cute, maybe up here, but I don't know if that's like the right vibe I wanna go, go into for 2024. Like, am I invisible? I don't know. Um, the last one is this Haunted Mansion. Um, the ghost and the Haunted Mansion are from No White Space stickers. So I don't know if this is a better idea. Anyways, I have commitment issues. So leave me a, a message in the comments which one you like, which one you think I should put on the cover. All right, so let's get into the flip. So throughout the year, I'll fill this in. So like whatever I don't put on the cover, I'll put in here. Um, I already started to put some. This is, I have actually no idea who it's from. I got it from the SGS Planner Conference. And this is from Little Magic Prints and this is from No White Space Stickers. And here, I have been hoarding the sticker forever, but it just seemed to work really well here. This is the Disneyland map by No White Space Stickers. This is also from them, the same like bluey goes to Disney theme. This name tag was from CME Draw. And then this is from Little Magic Prints also. And here, I covered up the calendar here that was like 23, 22. Um, this I made on my phone on Instagram using the like layout um, thing they have on their stories and these are like my authentic code it's part of the TBM I've talked about it in a couple other um, videos that I've done so these are like the most important things that I value so freedom experiences comfort slash luxury which I didn't put luxury on here comfort but with Juby on the little towel or in the blanket that looked really cute and then creativity so these are things that are like most important in my life now I highlighted the 2024 okay and the here this is the um like year overview I just I'm going to track like my YouTube count here um, some birthdays and then books that I've read and I also have another section for books that I've read in the back which I'll show you guys at the end of the video uh, these script stickers are from shine sticker studio I really wanted um, the see Amy draw ones which this is part of the see Amy draws the flowers um, but I didn't order in time or I made an order and I didn't order enough and she updated her website and the months weren't on there anymore so I ordered them from Shine Sticker Studio. This is my first month and I love it. I think it is so cute. This little Godzilla is from CME Draw and so these are her script uh, month stickers but there's bigger ones and then I also got like month letters and they came with the um, days of the week also. So super cute. I'm super happy with how this turned out. And then for the rest of, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with the um, grid pages in between each month. I might do it currently. I'm not sure yet. Um, for February, I used the See Amy Draw months all throughout so they all match. You'll see. I kind of played around with where I put the months. These little stickers are from Wanton and a Million and so are these date dots which were <laughs> such a pain in the butt to get on here I'm gonna be honest but it looks cute and then I just like played around with hand lettering the the dates or sorry the days of the week because I didn't want to buy that many stickers you know I thought I was saving money by getting the undated since it was on sale and 
I definitely did not because I made up for it with stickers. Um, this was also seeing me draw. I mean, it looks so good when you have it like as a set, but you know, what can you do? You have to learn to love your handwriting, I guess. Um, so here I have a lot of post-it notes in this. You'll see that's kind of how I um, plan for things that are not, um, that I haven't like committed to yet because you know, things change. These days of the week and these dates are from Shine Sticker Studio. And so are these tabs. I'll finish flipping through the um, months and then you can see. So here I have like a sticky for my friend's wedding, you know, just stuff that like, I know is coming up but not confirmed yet. Um, these date dots and the days are from Shine Sticker Studio. I think the stars came out really cute. This is this new no white space washi for the Haunted Mansion that I'm obsessed with. These date dots are also from Shine Sticker Studio. I wrote the dates at the top. And then these are Shine Sticker Studio. And for the months, I tabbed them. I didn't do a very good job. And then after I did it, I kind of regretted it because I kind of wish I did them flush to the page so they didn't stick out but they're really pretty like holographic. They're just, you know, small show the um, months. I still have some, so you can see this is the sheet it came on. So I still have like notes, lists, plans. Um, I don't actually have any sections that match these. So these might just go in my journal. And for the months portions, I am using these. Mickey ta holographic tabs. These are from No White Space stickers that I've also been hoarding. And these ones, I kind of just made it so that way the little ears stick out so they match the months as best as possible. But it's a, it's a work in progress. Um, let me show you that what I plan to do with the back pages and then I'll go through January. So I haven't dated everything yet. I've kind of been going like a month at a time, so it's not dated till the end. But what I plan to do here is a recap of the books that I have read. Here is an example of this 2023 passion planner of how I did it. So I plan on doing something very similar, smaller photos because this is a smaller planner. Um, so for right now, I'm just tracking. You saw I tracked it in the um, month over, or sorry, the year overview. Um, I'm also just going to keep like a running tab on this post-it here and I'll probably decorate it more um, at the end of the year. I just like don't know how many books I'm going to read. I have 10 on my Goodreads challenge, but um, hopefully I read more than that. Next is an MCU page that I put together. I'm a big Marvel fan. I'm sure you've seen and this is an example of what I did this past year in my passion planner um, again probably smaller images but I, I think it came out really nice so I'll do that here and again just running list on um, a post-it this I started doing two years ago listing like manifestations or good things that happened um, throughout the year and it's just really nice to kind of go back and see like, oh, these are some nice things that happen, kind of keeps you motivated for the future. And if you have a bad day, you can read them and, you know, feel in, empowered by them. And then here, I'm also going to keep track of the nails that I did. I'm a big fan of nail art. And I also did this in my passion planner. So this came out really cute. And it's nice to like go back and see like, which designs I've done. So that is that for now. The rest of them, there aren't that many pages, so I might just save them for um, notes. All right, flipping to January. So I am using this as a planner, but I'm also kind of using it as like a memory tracker. So I will put plans in it, but they are kind of like on post-it notes. If I have something like further out, let's see what's a good example. Yeah, see, so here's one. Um, yeah, so these, here's another one. So if I have something going on, like I'll list it and on a post-it note so I remember, but um, I only have it about one month, like dated one month. January was my first kind of like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I have so much space. Um, but 
I thought it, it came out pretty cute. So yeah, so like plans and memory keeper, but I do keep this, I fill it out kind of like as the days go on. Um, this is a sticker I got from on Sautel. If you live in Los Angeles, it's a cute little like street that has a lot of Asian shops, a lot of Asian food. This is from Giant Robot 2, I believe. I love that it's a little cat. It kind of looks like my kitty Jupiter. And these are from Wonton and Million. For the weeks, I just write it out myself. I don't plan on getting any stickers for that. And then the script sticker is from a See Any Draw. So some days I will put quotes in. I mean, a lot of days I'll do like to do's. What I did that day, which is a lot more than I used to track, you know, especially like what we're watching or like if I made something special to eat that night. Um, I don't typically do that bef like before unless it was like a movie movie that I'd never seen before. But, you know, to kind of fill up space, I just put in like what we were watching. Lots of quotes. I'll print out some pictures when I have some for the day. <laughs> we found Topo Chico's that day. It was um, a big win for us because we had gone to many Costco's looking for Topo Chico's. Um, so this week you can see I was supposed to go on a trip and it got canceled, but I had already written it in. So I just tried to cancel it out as nice as I could. A lot of these stickers are from CA Amy Draw because I'm part of her Patreon. So I get um, stickers every month. These are Happy Planner. This is um, Honeybee Shop. So yeah, so you can see this is where I had everything for the trip and then I canceled it. So sometimes it just gets a big sticker. Sometimes it gets an X. These are See Amy Draw. This came out so cute. This, uh, I don't know where these came from. They were freebies from SGS Planner Conference. This is no white space stickers with the little Mickey, like Astro Mickey, but I thought they went together really well. So I'm still kind of playing around. So image there, washi. Um, some pages match like two at a time and some don't. Um, I'll put gratitude in here. These are big stickers from Daiso. Um, these are coffee, no, coffee bean, something beans planner. I'm sorry, if I, if I remember, I'll put it um, over the screen when I edit. But um, I like to trek when it rains because it doesn't rain super often in Los Angeles and I love the rain. So yeah, I'm kind of playing with like, okay, do, do, do two pages match? I like to print a lot of quotes um, from Spirit Daughter. Or do I like it if they don't match, like kind of more unique, which I like both, but it's kind of easier to decorate when they're when they match but like this one kind of matches because it's colorful but not really but I like it um I feel like I've got into a groove at least with the week so like this and this page will match or have what matching washi and I like that okay so this is February now but you can so uh, but what I've been playing with these coming weeks is that the week, oh no, the week has like a whole theme. So these are all one sticker sheet. And then for February, they're all like the same also. So I'm gonna play around with that and see if I like that or if I like kind of the individual pages better. Okay, so that is my setup for 2024 daily planner first time in the daily planner so i'm um just learning as i go and i'll try to do flip throughs every month because a mid-year flip through would probably be pretty long but i can do more detailed like monthly flip throughs and then maybe like a really fast no talking um half year uh, flip through and yeah let me know in the comments which stickers you guys think i should put on the front or if you have any idea where i can get like a jelly cover for this um, I'd really love that because the, it does kind of curl and I'd like to protect it. Okay, if you made it so far, thank you so much for watching. And I'll have some more vlogs and planner videos coming up. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day or night. Bye.